Shalom, my dear friends. I'm here at the Idra to bring you another Torah. A Torah from Rabbi Nachman. I'm going to open up to the Kuti Maharan. Number 262. Da Sha Yidei, he's Hachus Atoiro. No, by means of the Torah. The Torah's renewal, 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 rivers are formed. Speaking of river, I'm sitting in a puddle. Whoops. Ow. Okay. Let's move over here. Ki kishem maski lechadish batoiro. For when one begins to originate in the Torah, as I mask you, Lin Boa Ma'ayan Bivichinas Umayon Mi Beis Hashem Yetzei. When a person begins to originate in the Torah, a spring begins to flow. In the aspect of a spring comes forth from the house of Hashem. In Yo. For it says in Proverbs, a house is built with wisdom. Now in the beginning, the spring is narrow and small. Yet after it widens and spreads further and further. Until it turns into rivers. Everyone then comes to drink from these rivers. Therefore, someone who wants to originate Torah insights of value must first cry. This is because when the aforementioned rivers are made and everyone comes to drink from them, the forces of evil on the other side as well to drink from there, chas v'sholom, God forbid. So besides a person, people coming to drink from it, the other side also drinks, tries to drink from these new Torah sides. Therefore a person must cry in order to prevent this, is what he's saying. So that rivers are formed from the crying. In the aspect of He repaired rivers from the crying. Speaking of tears, it's, it's raining. I'm gonna, let's go inside. Sorry, 
by crying, he prepares and establishes the rivers and all the evil forces, and the other side drink their fill from there. Thus, afterwards, when he forms the rivers from the Torah insights he later originates, he is then able to draw them into, into only appropriate places, so that no stranger drinks from them. Wow. This is why I work in Allah with the Jewish laws. And original insights is called Masechto. This corresponds to Masachti, I mix my drink with tears. And Tilam. It is necessary to mix the drink with tears, for it is necessary to cry for us as explained above. This is also as aspect of by the rivers of Babylon there Yishavu Yishavnu sorry there Yishavnu we sat down and we also wept. Babylon is the aspect of the Babylonian Talmud that was made in the yeshivas from the, where the rivers were formed, as explained above. And this is, and also wept because it's never the first cry. And yes, I mixed my drink with tears. I explained above. So we learn from Rabbi Nachman in other places, and it's known in Chassidus and and, and amongst the Talmud Chachamim, the great sages, that it's very important to create original insights into the Torah. But besides the idea of the other side taking hold of these ideas and the holiness from them, these new insights, it also can be a problem when a person creates new insights in the Torah when they don't have an understanding of the Torah. A person has to first have a certain level of das in order to create Torah insights. But it's good for everyone to create Torah insights. We should maybe create insights into what you have das in. For instance, we know that the many other religions, they take ideas from the Torah. And the whole idea of these people is they pick up a Bible and they figure, you know, you know, I, I, you know God created me, I can make my interpretation. And so they sit there and they interpret the Bible into whatever way they want. And, you know, that would be all good said and done if you first believed that there was even a God, one God, didn't worship idolatry and weren't... weren't uh, <laughs> You know, cared about uh, moral values in, in to the total, to uh, in a complete way. So, when a person goes and they're not ready to to create original insights, they cause a lot of harm. They cause a lot of harm. But generally speaking, every Jew has the power to create original Torahs, and these original Torahs have great benefit for the entire world. They create worlds, and it's a great, great thing. It would be great for that to be the goal of a person. And with what a person has understanding and what they are educated in in, the, in a broad spectrum of a Torah, which uh, in Christianity they, they, they pick up a, a Bible or someone would pick up even an Old Testament and they'll start preaching based on the Old Testament, but they haven't learned the Mishnah, they haven't learned the Talmud, they haven't learned Hasidus, they haven't learned commentaries, they haven't learned... They haven't learned Musar, they haven't, they, 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 they don't have any structure. So when they create something, it's total falsehood. Come, total falsehood comes out of it. When a person creates Torah, which must, even original insights are based on some form of truth. Oh, I'm sorry, for, forgive me for that. They're based on 100% truth that's already been said by the sages. The person is just re-originating them. Because everything was said on Har Sinai, to, was given to Moses, and Moses gave to the Jewish people, all that was said and told. So therefore, original insights, even though they're 100% original, they have a basis, like even a person who creates music, a few of the notes are somehow coming from some other 
type of song that maybe was created once before. So a person has to have, firstly, uh, to be able to create music, has to have an understanding of music. In a broad spectrum, a person who doesn't understand music, doesn't know music well, it doesn't the, the music that they create, the, the original mu uh, musical pieces, are not, they don't, don't have a structure to them, they don't sound very good. Same thing with the original Torah insights, they have to have some basis, I'm sorry, again, I just keep on saying some because I'm all excited, they must have basis on previous Torah understanding. And through that, like even when I, I try to create myself original insights in Torah, and I have a whole series in, in the Psalms where I'm creating Torah insights, but everything that I say, even though they're original, and, I know, and I'm doing the original because I know it helps me to grow, as we'll talk in a moment, as, as in, 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 in the Torah study, but everything that I'm saying has some basis from, from uh, things I've learned in Yaakov, things that I've learned in, in many, many sources. And then I'm coming to a conclusion based on the Das that I have uh, from, from Torah study done previously. And so, it's a great thing to create original insights. The, it was a Svas MS before he became Rebbe. He was told when he was a young boy, every day he should come up with a new Torah insight. And he should do that every day. Because when a person creates new insights in the Torah, it gives them their moach, their mind, it opens it up to a all new level of understanding. So, not only does it, does it create worlds, not only is it beneficial for the world, but for a person's scholarly pursuits in bettering themselves in, in understanding the Torah and wisdom and mythos and character traits and being a, the best Jew they can be, it's important to create these original insights and not take it for granted the ability one has, and the blessing one has to, to do this. And every Jew can darshan, can, can bring forth be be more beautiful gems from the Torah. Every word of the Torah can be interpreted in 70 different ways, 70, 70 facets. And this is what Hashem wants from us, this is what God wants from us, is that we should make ourselves part of the Torah, make it part of our life, and to explain it, and to share with it to others. Of course, as I say, in, we should do so in the, in the areas that, that, that we're properly rounded and, um, and have understanding. And so as we see from here that a simple Torah insight can turn out to be a very small stream and widen more and more and more. So when a person tells over this Torah, then over time it can be expanded by others and broadened, so, that, so, it's not, so they don't realize they're, they're, it's like they're planting a seed into Klai so into the Jewish people with this original insight that can then be spread further and maybe stories can be told from it. A lot can happen based on this and it can turn into many rivers. But in order to have our insights come out properly, we have to cry. We have to cry because the klipa, the negative forces, which is a lot of what I'm talking about for people who, who, are, who have... It's also coming from the idea that people who have interpreted the Torah wrongly, so all this klipa attacks immediately when a person goes and they create a new insight. They're attacking that insight and they're grabbing sustenance from it. And we don't want to give the negative forces more power into the world because they're latched onto this idea of this, this new Torah insight and they know its power, so they grab it. And we're going to push them away right away by the tears. And the tears, they're going to take for a little bit from our tears instead of the original insights. And then our original insight is going to be elevated and create many, many new worlds in the heaven. This comes from tears. You know, a person, if they want to grow in Torah, it says, at Chatzos, at midnight, they should cry to Hashem. They should cry for their lack of knowledge. I forgot who said this, but it's brought in Kabbalah. Cry, you should cry, cry for your lack of knowledge. And the same thing, person who's out there trying to teach Torah, they have to cry and cry. Please, let me be worthy of creating new original insights to teaching Torah. Trust me, I cry a lot. <laughs> Not just about the focus problem from the camera, but I cry to be able to teach properly and to be able to have the strength to teach, the, the money, the support around me. And without these tears, it would, maybe there wouldn't be a video today without these tears right now. From even the tears last night, this morning, before I came. Before I came, I started my day. So we have to. I, I'll, I'll have to 
one thing I want you all to take from this Torah is that you have to believe in yourself that, that, that just by you being a Jew itself, your soul has this power, has this strength to create original insights and to shine and be great.